Hello and thank you for visiting my channel Miami Star Tarot. I am Natalia Roos. Today I am going to be doing my last of my August 2020 love readings. I am on the last one Aquarius for my air signs. I have let's see two new decks that I am using. I am using the tarot deck Legacy of the Divine Tarot love this deck gorgeous deck I am sure that you will look at the cards and say yes I agree they're beautiful cards very interesting cards too very expressive cards I love them and I also am using the angel answers oracles and um, these are back on Amazon back in stock so if you had your eyes on these if you've had your eyes on these the way I have um, I, I would snatch one up so that's what I did all right so we're using those two um, so this is an August 2020 reading. I don't think there's a hard stop date for that. So if you see this in September, I think it'll still apply. And let's see what else. I will be doing a six card uh, spread and I will be using flyers, cards that just kind of fall out. This, that's the way I feel like I'm going to get the best reading today. So um, let's get started with Aquarius for August 2020 for love. And I'm going to I'm going to adjust my camera so that you can see the cards. All right, here we go. All right, so I will start with the angel answers and see what we get for Aquarius. Hopefully, one will pop out. What do we have for Aquarius 2020? Aquarius 2020. I'm going to shuffle a couple more. If I don't get a flyer, I will go in and take one. I don't really consider that a flyer. It didn't fall out. Oh, I got three. I'm not going to take three. Sorry, Aquarius. I almost feel like it's too much. Do one more and then I will pull a card. Ah, I got, I got it. Opportunity. That's always a nice card to get, Aquarius. So you have an opportunity coming your way. All right, so now I will be shuffling the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. Let's give it a few good shuffles. I'm going to give it a few of these because I just finished doing water signs. And I've been doing the air signs. I did um, Gemini. I did Libra. So you are my last for this month. And I want to clear all that energy out by just giving it some good shuffles. And let's see what opportunities you have coming. Or an opportunity. That's a beautiful card too. Very bold. Let's clear some of this energy from the other readings. Oops. It's like 99 degrees out. I'm outside in my backyard. And the sun went away. It automatically just feels better. I love the heat, so I'm not complaining. So I'm going to do one more shuffle. I feel like some of that energy is gone from the other readings. And then we're going to do, I'm going to look for the flyers. All right. All right. Aquarius, August 2020. Aquarius, August 2020. What opportunity is knocking at your door? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. August 2020. All right, we've got the five of coins, which actually it's a card of opportunity. You have the seven of wands, which is a card of having to sort of stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Um, and then you have the queen of wands. I want a little bit more information. 
I want to see if you are the Queen of Wands or if the Queen of Wands is somebody in your life. Opportunity. So the five looks like, the five of coins, the first card there, looks like a miserable card, but really it's not. It is really a card of opportunity. It's just, you know, that person looks like they're very down and out. They think they have nothing, but they have something. They're, they actually have a lot. They are just not seeing it. Okay, it's all about perspective. And also it's about how, how active you are in your own destiny. Okay, so that's the five of cards, the five of coins, sorry, or pentacles, also known as pentacles. Um, so it looks like possibly, Aquarius, like you are feeling a little bit um, maybe neglected or like there's just nothing positive going on in your life. And it's maybe making you feel a little bit like like on guard, like you want to start taking more action, more, um, maybe you're going to start taking a, a bigger role in finding your own happiness, okay? And in this case, the Queen of Wands could be you um, taking a, a look at yourself and saying, you know what? I want to live my life. I want to be happy and I'm going to go find happiness. Okay, so I'm thinking that that could be that could be part of what's going on with that first row for you, and I feel like there is going to be an opportunity for you. Okay, and let's try to find what opportunity is going to come up for you. And of course, I'm waiting for flyers, and I'm not getting any. <laughs> but I, I'm definitely seeing like a lack of of positive outlook. A lack of maybe happiness in your current situation, whatever that is, and the feeling of standing up for yourself and saying, you know what, I want to be happy and I am taking control and I am not going to let anybody bring me down. And the Queen of Wands is a person, it's a very beautiful person, so either you're very beautiful or you're very handsome. Or you've got some very beautiful or handsome qualities about you. Like you, you, you're a very passionate person. You're lively. You have a lot of life and you have a lot to give. Okay? And you just want to reignite that fire inside of you. Okay? And you might be able to do that. So let's find out what opportunity is going to come your way that will allow you to do that. And of course... Very stubborn energy here. I <laughs> can't get these flyers out, but I just feel like this is the way that I'm going to get the information I need to give to you. Ooh! I got three, four cards, and this one fell on the ground, so I have to take it. All right. So you've got... The king of coins. You got a lot of coins. King of coins. You got the tower. Tower is not always a bad card, even though it means like an explosive event in your life or something that could be potentially life altering, life changing. You've got the, I'm going to do this one here. You got the page of coins, which is the the um, the bringer of a message, okay? And you've got the six of swords, which is traveling or movement to a new phase in your life, okay? Moving to something better. All right. And I'm actually going to put this one. I think I actually like these two together. I almost feel like they belong together. So move these here like this I hope you can see that very clearly okay so definitely you're seeing like your life there's not a lot going on maybe you're you've missed opportunities and you're thinking you know what I'm taking over I'm gonna take control of my life I have a lot to offer I have a lot to give um, I have a lot of fire left in me or I want to reignite the fire that I have in me because there's a lot of life in me there's a lot to to give so the king of coins energy is about 
um, a person that has it all, a person that, um, and I think this, this in this kind of like is you in some ways. Now, it could be one or the other where it could also be like, if you're female and you, you feel like you have a lot to give, that you want to be in a really long-term relationship, you want to have an established life, or you could be this person right here, which is the Queen of Wands, which is a person that has a lot of passion, a lot of fire, a lot to give, a very beautiful person inside and out. Um, so you assign your roles, but there's two different types of energies, two different types of people involved here. And I think that has to do with your opportunity, okay? Now, the opportunity that is awaiting you, and I feel like if you're single, especially, that you will be meeting somebody, okay? And somebody's coming your way, but it's going to require a change in your life. Okay, and you may have to change your lifestyle. You may have to move somewhere. You may have to move out of a relationship. It can mean a lot of different things depending on your situation, Aquarius, okay? Um, but there's definitely a change in, your life is going to change. You need to change. So you need to make a change for this to happen. It's not just gonna fall on your lap. It's not just someone's gonna come knock on your door and say, hey, I'm here. And you can continue your life as is, except now you have this person with you that you are compatible with and having a lot of fun with. In order for you to take control of your current situation, if you're single, you're single. If you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship. You need to take control of it. You're going to have to throw your life up in the air okay it is going to require and the tower is not just I mean it could be a subtle change but with the tower it usually means a more of an explosive if, if you see the original uh, weight uh, rider weight card it shows a lightning bolt and two people falling out of it which means a huge shakeup for you. So it, I, I feel like whatever it is that you do it's going to be a significant enough change that, um, you know, and if you're hesitant about it, just know it's an opportunity, okay? And, you know, some people are afraid of change, and that, I think, is what gets a lot of people stuck in a rut or keeps people from finding, like, their true love or finding, you know, where they should be in life. It's, it's um, and, you know, change can be hard for some people. And with the tower here, it really does signify that it's going to be a big change for you. Okay, um, but the opportunity is going to be there. You want this, you want that, you are this, you are that. Whichever energy that you're thinking that is going to be for you, it will be coming to you, but it's not the opportunity. And I think this page of coins is the opportunity. Page of coins are very slow moving energies and they are not exactly the most obvious of people. So you're gonna have to really look for the opportunity. It's not like it's gonna come banging on your door saying, hi, I'm here. You know, you may have to um, read between the lines. So if it's someone that you're interested in, it may not be as obvious to you as you need it to be in order for this opportunity to show itself as what it is. You may have to maybe be the page of coins and meet this person halfway and deliver your half of the deal okay so if you have your eye on someone Aquarius you may have to let your feelings known too as you are trying to interpret theirs okay because um, again the page of coins is about a message getting across a deliverance of information and I feel that you know you if you don't pay attention or you're not maybe doing your part in it that you might miss this opportunity okay so you definitely have an opportunity for love there okay and I think that you want that Aquarius um, but again it's going to require a big change in your life or for you to make some changes and it could be simply you meet somebody and you're gonna have to move and if you're not willing to do that then I think it's gonna be a missed opportunity for you Aquarius um, if it's if it's uh, if you're in a relationship 
you may have to get out of the relationship to find the happiness that you really are looking for okay because as of right now you don't feel like you have a ton going on so Aquarius that is your read please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and well you know I'm so used to doing like all the air signs in one read that I usually say that at the end but right now it's just it's just you Aquarius so anyways thank you for visiting my channel Miami Star Tarot and I will see you later bye bye Aquarius